welcome and in this particular video I'll be discussing arrays and how to append an array and also how to create subarrays here I already have a program ready to be uh, executed and this is a block diagram so all I did for this is like drop two arrays over here and which could be done by going to data containers and arrays and then uh, dropping a numeric control into it or uh, whatever you want like you can also drop numeric indicator if it if it works for you but here I have uh, two numeric controls uh, within an array and this array is as you can see it is a dimension one and four element array and now if I can just enter these values to one two three and four and for the second one also we can enter one two three and four so if i perform this operation for now i'll be just uh, you can just see these these two uh, arrays this operation on these two other arrays so one operation I'm, I'll be doing is concatenating both the array uh, which can be uh, done using build array so if I go to arrays and build array option I can drop this thing and it has options uh, like you can concatenate the input for, uh, for the first one I am concatenating the inputs and for the second one I am just appending the array so that, that is more uh, sort of similar to stacking uh, what we call uh, so here this is being the concatenating operation and this operation is uh, simple uh, stacking, stacking. Uh, so these are the two operations I'll be doing on these two arrays and now if I uh, perform this operation you can see uh, that the first array that is generated it is a single dimension array so what it does is like it uh, it concatenates both of these array along the single dimension uh, and the second one uh, what it does is like uh, it adds a dimension to an array so it considers this as the first row and the second one as the second row so as you can see that this, this is a two dimension array and the candidate one is a single dimension array also if there are like uh, no elements like if one of the array is of length 5 and I have 5 over here so it will the stacking operation will just pad the extra dimension and if you can see so yeah we can see that the 5 is added for this particular array and this other one is being padded with 0 uh, the other operations we can perform is this uh, generating a subarray and that can be done by going to array and array subsets so I have dropped one of these and I am providing this uh, output stacked array as an input to this one and then we can just control the num the length and the index numbers from here so since it is a two dimensional array I have two uh, indices so this one is for the rows and this one is for the you can say columns and this one is length so how much length I want to extract from uh, from the subarray so if I keep this 0 and this index like let's say also 0 and the length for this one is 1 and the second length is 4 and now if I run this program what I'll get is 1 2 3 4 so first row I'm extracting from the uh, from this stacked array and if I change this to 1 so that means second row oh no ok so I will change this to 1 so it will mean the this first row which is actually the second row and now if I run the program mm -hmm. ah, yeah it is extracting the same but if we want to see that it is actually extracting because the values of the elements are same if you actually want to see 
so this is the second uh, row of this concat this uh, appended array so that is how we can perform concatenation stacking and uh, creating subarrays from the original array